Hi, my name is Irena Pravets. I'm a marketing student here at Hankin in the master's degree program in English. Um, I'm also a part of the uh, mentor program here, and I'm here with my mentor, Sari Grunberry, um, who works at Fiskars. So we have a few questions for you today. Um, the first is, why have you chosen to become a mentor? Well, I thought that as I have now been for something like 15 years, more than 15 years in the working life, and I've been working with different employers in very different positions, so it would be nice to sort of contribute somehow with my, my knowledge and experience. And also, of course, it would be nice to meet, meet with young people and mm -hmm. see maybe how I was 15 years ago. <laughs> Um, okay, so we've been doing this for about four months now. Mm -hmm. I think we started in September, October, and now it's January. Um, what do you feel that you've gotten out of this, um, the program and being a mentor? I think it's been really uh, interesting ha to have the discussions because uh, while I try to imagine me your situation, mm -hmm. so of course I, n I need to do some thinking that where, how did I feel when I was there and, and what have I maybe learned and mm -hmm. and if there is something, some mistakes I've made that I, I don't want you to make. So really do the thinking and, and uh, find the good solutions. So what, what advice would you give to people who would like to join the mentorship program and as a mentee or just to, you know, students in general? Yeah. Well, of course, one, one important thing is that you need to be interested in that and you somehow interested in people and and you need to be able to share your experience and and uh, in that sense be interested mm -hmm. in the other other party and supporting why, why did you want to become a mentee and what what expectations did you have um, well I wanted to become a mentee because I came to Hunkin um, mainly to meet people and, of course, advance my education, but um, most of all to, as a means to an end of finding a job in Finland, because as you could tell, I'm not Finnish. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I thought it was, when I saw the posters, I thought, why not? That's a really great opportunity to um, get your foot in the door and to have someone really kind of coaching you through those first crucial steps of out of school and into the workplace or even just mm -hmm. the mental preparation for it so my expectations were just to meet someone nice who could <laughs> give me some advice and um, so far that's worked out well. yeah good <laughs> in general to whom would you recommend becoming a mentee to all the students at Honkin and uh, most importantly the international students I think that um, you you never really stop learning so so especially in a new culture and a new setting you want to you want to make sure that you know people who can who can kind of help you through these situations when if you're working sometimes maybe you can't approach your boss the same mm -hmm. way that you can a mentor for example mm -hmm. so so especially with the with the cultural transition but but anyone really can benefit mm -hmm. from this i i also think that it, it's very important for um for the swedish speaking students who graduate so the alumni to come back to hunk and, and and especially help some of the international students who are who are um transitioning into Finland and into um, just through school in general. So it's really great that people, especially this year, have volunteered to, to work with, um, with international students because we, we are a very diverse group. And uh, my personal belief is that if we have all these great educational systems in place in Finland, that we can also, um, that they can also not just Hunkin's hard work helping us get through the school, but also to transition successfully into the workplace. So thank you very much for having chosen to become a mentor and hopefully you can encourage some of your friends to do it as well. <laughs> um, you're welcome. It's been a pleasure.